Gran poblado de Ovidio Tom. Soy Gustavo. Y ahí está. Of course, start with your say handle again. Let the drop you do this for you. Drop it. Use your thumb or your four fingers right here. Open it. Turn the blade away from you. Sweep it up. Tricks. I'm going to teach you how to do tricks today and sometimes the way it's in competition. So let's get started. Let's start with uh, portal again. So, a balance of flipping is one of the interesting hobbies that was spread worldwide, like it had been global already. For someone, this is not just a hobby for him, but, but it's their whole career. This hobby can be picked up by just about anyone. It is actually really fun, but stunning at the same time. So, use caution. Me, myself, again, I am not claiming to be an expert on what is all things. Even though I have been into this hobby for like two years already, but of course there's going to be somebody, somebody that I probably don't know about that is going to take this hobby more serious, more seriously than I am. I hope it's going to be one of you who is listening to my presentation. So I hope my presentation will inspire someone to start doing some hobbies such as this one, or any hobby. So just something to keep you occupied and entertained during these COVID-19 times. So let's get started. The history of a balisome, a balisome or most commonly known as a butterfly knife, uh, is a Two handle, this is one handle, two handle, fucking knife. So the history behind a body song, as I said, in the Philip this is a Philippines, how should I say? Philippines word root? I'm not sure. Yeah. But actually that there have been rumors. First, the eight hundred AD in there they were like Oh, this knife was invented in 880 in the Philippines, but there is no real document on that. Instead, in the 1500s and the 1700s, the French actually has something that is quite similar to the butterfly knife or body song, which is called Pied I don't know if I pro pronounced that right or wrong though. So that is a ruler that it folds. So I'm going to show you the pictures on that in the next slide. So the usage in, in the in the Philippines, like from in the past times, they were used the knife as a straight razor to like shave or everything. And of course, as a normal pocket knife. So you may be wondering how this balance of become popular. It's become popular. So you can see. You see, of course, mo mostly it's going to be come from the pop culture movie. You can see these guys doing some flashy moves like oh, of course. You always can see that and also some video games as well. So oh, this is a two foot. It's kind of, kind of like a folding ruler. You can see they have the marks and everything. And it's fold, just folds. And have like a a little bit of a metal in here, it's like they can mark on something. And this is a traditionally traditional body songs that is uh, most commonly in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So next up is the basic geometry of the song because you have to know not every kind of every single thing on the night to be to be good at it. So this is just the uh, the like holding right now. So the handle, the handle can separate it into the two sides, the bike handle and the set handle. I'm gonna talk about the set handle first. So the set handle is the side that you can grip on and having no fear of cutting yourself. 
because it is with the spine. It has no joints on it. You just swing it back, it will hit you, and nothing will happen to you because it doesn't have an edge. My candle, on the other hand, is one with the edge. So this is quite dangerous to hold your knife like this on the bike handle because you know it's going to cut yourself. How do, how do you like notice or indicate it that it is a bike handle? It's by this little thing. It is called a latch. This is a locking mechanism on Python that I will tell you about the latch later. So let's start with the handle construction. There are two handles main handle constructions of a ballet song. The one with shell construction, such as this one. So you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but it is a one piece of material that has been shelled or milled it out to have the knife inserted in. Sandwich construction, in the other hand, you have two pieces of material slapped together or screwed together to see the screws here and it has a spacer to separate these two so let's talk about spacers this little piece right here the spacer is a piece of material that can be swallowed to a different material that is it influences the overall weight because it is like this thing can control the how should I say the weight or all the weight when you are doing tricks make you feel when you are doing tricks better. But but uh, the main how should I say the main objective on spacer is to like hold everything together in the sandwich construction balance. So you can see that we have a like standard steel spacers, titanium, and even carbon fiber, which is going to be very light. So, next up in the sandwich construction is going to be a scale. You can see right here. A scale is another piece of material, mostly plastic, gelatin, something that is quite grippy. They're put on, on top of the surface of the liner, the liner which is the inside material. So I don't have the scale version of this, but but normally they would have like a slab of plastic, just slap it on here, screw it in, so it will improve grip grippiness on your knife. Now latch. This is the locking mechanism, locking system of the brother song. We have two kinds, two main kinds. So this one is a on the left side we have T latch, which is quite cheap. I don't have it on hand on me right now. But T latch is just uh, like this T piece of metal, and it gets cheap. It's really cheap, cheaply made. But this has a drawback. When you're doing things such as hand or springs like this one, it will get caught easily, like this, and that's really annoying. And it can be damaged because you can things around. Spring latch on your hand does like this one. You can see it pops up. It's just a little bit more expensive, but it will never get caught. Like when you're swinging around, it will spring right back up. But also there's a downside because this is a spring. If you locking it for a long time, it can wear down like mine. The spring can become much as it loose. <coughs> Next up is the pivot screws on operating system. So the pivots, this, this thing will be like around here, around this part of the knife. So the pivot, this side, is the cylinder shape that holds everything, the uh, metal piece that holds everything together, and it also allows rotations. It's like a female screw, such as that's what I'm going to say. A torque screw is about the male screws. It is mostly star patterns and it locks in the middle. The washers is the, uh, a ring, small, thin ring shape that will separate the handle and the blade. It will 
creating less friction, pretty nice to move around. Bushing is also a certain ring that is slips over and if you reduce the handle play or I should say improves the handle intrinsic. So handle play is when you have this kind of movement, which is actually bad, like that it sways around and back. And the ball bearings, this is a sphere, spherical ball that is that will sit on the surface of the blade and the handle and it will improve the rotation really well. So this is the picture of it. It's a torque screw, has a star shape, pedal is a cylinder shape, watchers, flat ring, bushing is like a small cylinder that slips over the pipe. And this is a ball bearing system. They this is quite frankly the best of the body you get the ball bearing operating systems because they will that spins very freely. Let's talk about the blade now. The blade, of course, I think everyone can guess this. Of course, we have the spine, the edge, and the tank. So, sorry. The edge, of course, the sharp side used for cutting the spine is a blunt side or a But the spine, they can use to ricochet because when you're doing trace, you have to like flip it, you know. This will come and hit you in your hands, and you have to ricochet it back. And the tank is a lower part of the blade, which is have two holes in it, and it will allow for the handles to go in just like a normal kitchen knife or every knife. And now we have the pin system. The pin system. This is important, the pin system, because if you don't have the pin system, your knife wouldn't operate well because it can the bed can over rotate it and it will not be controllable anymore. There are two systems. The uh, tanky, which is a metal dowel, quote unquote press in the blade. That means this is a uh, ex external material that has press in the blade. This is, has a downside which is this tank in can be followed in some cases even in higher grade knives. Next up is sand pins like this. This is what we call sand pins. This is integrated into the design. So then you have like a notch up here like a little notch and then we use these fiber to like use as a kicker to like stop it from over rotating. So how to buy your first bath off? This is I'm gonna show you the tips, a little bit of tips that I have been studying. So first, do not go cheap on bath songs. Because cheap bath songs are likely to be more like more fragile. You can play with it like five or six times and they fall to the ground and breaks apart. <laughs> I'm pretty sure like, someone who's in this uh, hobby will have this problem. So don't don't you ever go cheat <laughs> on fan songs. <clears throat> and next up is to use trainer. The one that I have two of these right here are a live blade, which is a sharp edge that you can actually cut things with it. But if you use a trainer, which is the non-sharp blade, they will have the exact same geometry of the normal basalt, but this just is going to be a hunk of steel that is unsharpened. So of course it's going to be safer, so reduce the risk of cutting yourself. And so to use to to find a set pin knife, because it's going to have low maintenance, you don't have to worry about your 10 pins falling out when doing some tricks with it. <clears throat> and use a spring latch so it will never get caught, like I said, as a T latch or maybe flashless, no latch at all. And try to use a shell construction like this because this this is taking a beating for like a hell of a long time. 
because this is a one piece of material. You can you can obviously think that it's quite tanky. Let's say it is quite durable. And also you materialize it. Different materials equals different weight. We have like the handles can be made of just about anything. Uh, titanium, stainless steel, or even plastic. There's a 3D printed that is available. So that is going to do effect on how you feel at night because, of course, different material equals different weight issues. Uh, plastic, for is going not to be as heavy or balanced as these metals. So I'm going to tell you about the recommended brands. Branding of the Bison. First one is the Squid Industry, which is the very famous train trainers brand. They have such an amazing product, the Marco Rakaragan trainer, the Tyson, you know, they're amazing. The Benjamin, which is a long time company, 